Welcome back to Mike's Man Cave and today we will be doing another Nerf Blaster unboxing and review. We'll be looking at the um, N-Strike Elite Triad EX3. It comes complete with three darts. Um, this reminds me of a um, N-Strike Elite Jolt on steroids. It seems to be a little bit bigger. It's making big power claims with 22 meters of um, dart performance. So I'm hoping it will go close to that. The um, Jolt N-Strike Elite that I tested um, had about 12 meters of dart performance, which I was happy with, but they claimed nothing on the box. Um, this seems like a nice little unit and it was reasonably cheap. I honestly can't remember what I paid for it now but it wasn't a lot of money. Now looking at the back, um, three elite darts and it's got the same cocking handle mechanism as the um, Jolt does. And again it gives you a little story there about dart performance and it's even got the instructions there. Pull down, cocking handle to ready, pull trigger to fire, repeat for next dart. Pretty straightforward. Okay, um, I've got a um, the jolt here, and if we put that next to it, it is a fair bit smaller, and hence why I said it reminds me of a um, jolt on steroids. Um, let's get it out the box and see how she performs. <laughs> We've got the um, Triad EX3 out of the box. Here's something interesting I've never seen before. There's a sticker on there saying, For best performance, do not store darts and blaster. I always sort of knew that it wasn't a good idea to store the darts inside the blaster, but I've never ever seen a sticker on the blaster. I'm hoping that sticker's going to come off easy enough without marking the blaster. Um, but yeah, that's interesting. Not sure why that's on there. Um, now, this works um, pretty much the same as your jolt times three. You get your darts, you feed your darts in there, and they slip in quite easily. Pull back and fire. Pull back and fire. Pull back and fire. Job done. Okay, let's test out this claimed 22 meters of dart performance. Okay, that was our test fire. Fired nine darts, and considering they're claiming 22 meters performance, very disappointing. Um, it probably performs worse than the standard jolt that's um, got no performance claims from the box. Now, one of our darts ended up right there. It went two meters and landed on the ground. Another one went probably about five or six meters and landed on the ground. Now that tended to be the last dart fired. Um, so the first one goes the distance up to the back, the second one goes the distance and the third one just seems to not fire properly. I don't know if that's the fault of this particular blast or if they, um, they all do that. I might have to check out some other reviews and see if other people are having the same problem. Now, in relation to 22 metres, well, it's 12 metres. Most of the darts ended up up here. Um, some of the darts hit the wall and some of them just landed on the ground before reaching the wall. So, the 22 metre performance, more realistically, is probably 12 metre performance. Um, 
I'm not sure how they get 22 metres. So, you know, if they didn't make any claims of performance on the box for this blaster, I wouldn't really care. I'd be happy with that. It performs about the same as the $6 jolt. It's got the same mechanism. I believe it's even got the same spring in the, um, in the blaster as what the jolt does. Because if you um, order replacement springs for your Jolt, um, apparently Jolt, Triad, EX3, and um, a couple of other blasters use the exact same spring. Um, so I've got a feeling the spring in here is the same as the spring in the $6 Jolt, and therefore the performance would be the same or similar, which it is. Um, definitely no 22 meter performance. Um, regardless of that, it's not a bad little unit. I'm quite happy with it. Um, you know, if they didn't claim the performance on it, I'd be happy with it. Um, now, for more Nerf gun related, Nerf Blaster related videos, um, Nerf Blaster power upgrades and full custom builds, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching.